Good morning students. Today we will see about the asthma and systemic lupus erythematous in pregnancy. During pregnancy, some amount of breathlessness is common due to the effect of progesterone and fall in arterial carbon dioxide tension. Such breathlessness is considered as physiological where oxygen saturation is more than 95%. Asthma is a chronic airway inflammation due to this hyper responsiveness to the number of irritants. The incidence of asthma is about 5 to 8% of all pregnant women. The effect of pregnancy on disease, the cause of disease is, not, is very much unpredictable. In about 20% the condition improves, in 30% it deteriorates and 50% it remains unchanged. Bronchodilator influence are due to progesterone and cortisol and bronchoconstrictor influence are due to reduced residual volume and increased PGF2 and thromboxin. Asthma increase with maternal morbidity. Effect of asthma on pregnancy. There is an increased incidence of preterm labor, premature rupture of membrane, preeclampsia, fetal growth restrictions or low birth weight and neonatal hypoxia. Maternal risk increases with the status asthmaticus. Life-threatening complications include pneumothorax, core pulmonary cardiac arrhythmias and respiratory failure may occur. Management, preconception counseling, overall risk of any child having asthma is about 4%. If one parent has asthma, the risk of child will have asthma is increased to 8 to 6 percentage. If both the parents have asthma and also atopic or allergic, the risk may be highest 30 percentage. The pregnancy step therapy of asthma is currently recommended. If it is a mild intermittent inhaled beta agonist or albuterol is needed. If mild persistent low dose of inhaled corticosteroid. Or LRA, L means L LTRA. LTRA is leukorine receptor agonist. Moderate and persistent low dose of medium dose inhaled corticosteroid LABA. LABA means long acting beta agonist. And is severe persistent high dose of inhaled corticosteroids. So LABA plus, plus or minus OCS. OCS means oral corticosteroids. Management of acute attacks of plasma. In, uh, means asthma in pregnancy. Avoidance of asthma triggers that is allergens, irritants to minimize airway inflammation and hyper responsiveness. Oxygen inhalation with mask to maintain oxygen saturation is above 95%. High dose of albuterol by nebulization on every 20 minutes and inhale ipromium, bromide and systemic corticosteroid. Repeat assessment of symptoms, physical examination, oxygen saturation is to be done. Corticosteroids, intravenous hydrocortisone 200 mg stat and to be repeated after 4 hours. Because of the long onset of action, corticosteroids should be given along with the beta, means B2 agonist. Force expiratory volume is second or peak expiratory flow rate below 50 percent and PCOT above 42 mm of HCG necessitate in the intubation and mechanical ventilation with 100 percent oxygen in ICU. Mechanical ventilation is needed for status asthmaticus to avoid hypoxia and carbon dioxide retention. Labor. Clinical evaluation of the patient in labor may be inaccurate to predict severity. PEFR or FE1 should be determined. Asthma medications to be continued and opiate means analgics should be avoided as they are bronchoconstrictor and respiratory depressant. Maternal oxygenation should be adequately maintained. Labetrolol should be avoided as it may precipitate asthma. Hydrocortisone 100 mg IV 8th hour during the labor and 24 hour postpartum is to be given if the patient had steroids within the previous 4 weeks. Inhaled corticosteroid prevents bronchial hyperresponsiveness to allergies. Sindosinone is the best than ergometrin because bronchoconstriction effect of the ergometrin. PGF2 alpha should not be used as it precipitates bronchospasm. PGE1 and PGE2 compounds can be used locally for induction of labor or abortion. Epidural analgesia is preferable to general anesthesia because risk of atletiaxis and subsequent chest infection following the general anesthesia. I means halothorn is better in general anesthesia, however, it produces uterine atony. Ketamine is used for induction of general anesthesia as it prevents bronchospasm. Oxygen saturation is assessed with pulse oximeter or arterial blood gas. Postnatal hysotherapy is maintained and drugs are continued. Breastfeeding should be encouraged as it delays the onset of allergic problems in the child. Drugs are used in asthma, pregnancy alone, corticosteroid, LABA, LTRA do not contraindicate the breastfeeding. Contraception. Barrier methods is best for terminal contraception. Husband is to, is to be motivated for vasectomy.
second disease is systemic lupus erythematosus or SLE. SLE is a serious autoimmune disease with autoantibodies causing specific multisystem that is skin, joints, kidney, lungs, liver, nervous system and other organs affection. It is 10 times more common in adult women than adult men. It is first diagnosed during the pregnancy in about 10 to 30 percentage of cases. Clinical features, common presenting features are fatigue, fever, weight loss, arthralgia, arthritis and myalgia. Joint pains are often migratory in nature. Effect of pregnancy on SLE, long term prognosis remain unaffected. There is a chance of flare ups especially during the first half and maximum in preparium. Majority of maternal death occurred in preparium, the cause of being pulmonary hemorrhage and lupus pneumonitis and exacerbation of lupus nephritis. Effect of SLE on pregnancy, risk of lupus, rash, anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, and renal failure are increased. The increased risk of the first trimester miscarriage, lupus, nephritis, recurrent deep pain, thrombosis, PH, prematurity, IUGR, and stillbirth. Neonatal lupus syndrome is due to crossing maternal lupus antibodies to the fetus causing hemolytic anemia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia. Isolated congenital heart block is present in about one third of cases. As an apparently healthy woman delivering a baby with congenital heart block should be observed for the development of SLE. Investigations Antinuclear antibodies are standard of screening plus for the disease. Presence of anti auto antibodies to double stranded DNA. DS DNA is highly specific to the diagnosis. Antibodies to the RSM antigen, that is RNA protein found in 30 to 40, 30 to 40 percentage of SLE patients are highly specific and are called the renal involvement. Other antibodies for diagnosis are lupus, anticoagulant, antiphospholipid antibodies, anti RO, and anti LA. Baseline laboratory tests to be done to assess anemia, thrombocytopenia, renal function test, and serum antibodies, that is LA, ACL, anti RO, SSA, and anti LA, SSB. Management. Preconception planning is extremely important since conception during a period of coism is most likely to result in a live birth. Lupus can flare up at any time in the pregnancy and postpartum period. The predictive factors for success successful pregnancy outcome are a phase of sustained remission in the last six months, continued use of hydroxychloroquine throughout the pregnancy, corticosteroids and the pregnancy are most commonly used drugs as an analgesic paracetamol is the best. Non steroid anti inflammatory agents can be used during preparium. Low dose aspirin ATMG daily is prescribed advantages to minimize the pH and IUGR. It should be stopped at least two weeks before delivery. Pregnancy load 1 to 2 mg per kg per day started initially and dose keeps gradually tapered. Hydroxychloroquine is safe pregnancy found to be best for the maintenance. It reduces the risk of prolonged corticosteroid therapy and pulmonary embolism, bone demineralization, gestation diabetes mellitus and fetal growth restriction. Women who are on chronic corticosteroids should be receive hydrocortisone 100 mg every 8 hours for 3 doses during labor and at the time of serum delivery. Immunosuppressive drugs may be needed to control a severe case of SLE. Mode of delivery guided by the obstetric behavior, fetus with congenital heart block should be delivered by cesarean section. The patient should receive corticosteroids during the post peripartum period. All contraceptives may affect SLE and IUCD may predispose to infection to an immunocompromised patient. As such, bad methods of contraceptives are recommended. For this, for this do not flare up the loops. Thank you.